And the next guy coming to the stage, you can hear him on one of the funniest podcasts around, Kings of the Podcast. Well, be sure to check it out. Put your hands together for Mike Lee. <laughs> What's going on, fuckers? I like to get the energy in the room up. I want to hear you guys make some noise, but first I want to hear from the fellas. Fellas, where are you at tonight? Fellas! Oh, yes, you can feel the testosterone. I am man, strong like bull, hung like horse. I fuck you. What about the ladies? Where are the ladies at? Ladies! <laughs> Holy shit, fellas, good news. It sounds like they want to fuck. <laughs> ladies, ladies, this one's just for you, just for the ladies. There's a new study out. I don't know if you heard about this, but uh, it is a new study. It says that women are actually better off not wearing a bra. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Now, it's the first study I've ever conducted. <laughs> but, but the results aren't conclusive. <laughs> I actually read that study online. I read a lot of stuff online. In fact, the other day I read this story. Maybe you heard about it. There was a woman in Florida who actually gave natural birth, vaginal birth, to a 14-pound baby. Oh, I know, man, right? Holy shit. I know what you're thinking, because I was thinking the same thing. The next time that woman queefs, it's going to sound like an elephant roar. <laughs> Her vagina's going to look like loose curtains in front of an open window. <laughs> I can't help but picture the slow clap at the end of a feel-good movie. Gaga fans out there? Lady Gaga? Good. Fuck all of them. I hate them. Uh, uh, I read this story the other day. I don't know if you guys heard about it, but Lady Gaga, she actually has joined forces, rumor online, she's joined forces with Virgin Galactic, and in 2015, Lady Gaga is going to be the first pop star to do a concert from outer space. Yeah, right? Yeah, this is good news, people, I'm telling you. Because if you're in your late teens, early 20s, what you're thinking whenever you hear that is, oh my God, Lady Gaga is like so inspirational. She is like the best singer ever. I love Lady Gaga. I'm cuckoo for Gaga. Hashtag born this way. <laughs> but if you're my age or older and you remember what real music is, then you are thinking to yourself when you hear that, we are going to take that no-talent, auto-tuned bitch, put her into a space shuttle, and launch her ass into outer space! Hell yes! Who else can we get on this damn thing? Can we make Justin Bieber the navigator? Yes! Can we get the Kardashians on this damn thing, please? Hey, Kanye, we don't have room for you, but we'll tie your ass to the nose of this motherfucker. <laughs> Fucking Lady Gaga. Who, who has a name like Lady Gaga? What kind of band name is that? You guys remember when band names were cool? Like uh, the Rolling Stones, Black Sabbath, Poison. Red Hot Chili... Poison, yes. Red Hot Chili Peppers was cool. We went from Red Hot Chili Peppers to Hot Shell Ray. <laughs> we went from Guar to Gautier. <laughs> Are you somebody that I used to know? <laughs> the fuck ever. Even our one-name bands like Madonna. Madonna was awesome. Madonna was great. She was a triple threat. She could sing, she could dance, and I wanted to bone her. Now we have Adele. Adele's not a triple threat. She's a triple cheeseburger. What? It's just Adele. She's not here. You guys ever make up band names with your friends ever? I do this shit all the time. The other day, uh, a friend of mine was telling me this great story. Now, this is a great story. Just go with me here, okay? Uh, uh, there was this little kid. His name was Jack Hoffman. He was a cancer survivor. And the University of Nebraska, they actually suited him up and let him run a touchdown during one of their scrimmages last year. You guys remember this story? Great story. But I'm a comedian, and my brain is fucked up. And I couldn't get past the kid's name. <laughs> it's Jack Hoffman, which is very close to Jack Hoffman which is awfully close to Jack Off, man. <laughs> so I made the joke, and my friend goes, dude, this kid went through 60 weeks of chemo. And I was like, 60 weeks of chemo, that's my new band name. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, 60 weeks of chemo! Wow! 
Ow! They come out, I don't know what kind of music they play, but let's just say they're not a hair band. <laughs> I see nothing wrong here. My name is Mike Lee, that's my time, guys. Thank you guys so much.